Losing data to corruption or a software issue is about the last thing anyone wants. It sucks, but it's not the end of the world. In fact, there are more than a few ways that you can repair and recover files from your drive on a Windows PC. And in this video, we'll go through some of the best ways you can do it. So let's begin. Hello everyone, my name's Mike, and here at Sabrent, we love to make and talk tech. So if that's what you're into, then make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can stay updated. If you're facing problems with your drive, you first need to figure out what kind of problem you're facing, because there can be all sorts of issues with the drives that have their own solutions. Sometimes the easiest solution that you can think of is the best solution. Oftentimes, performing a hard reset might just be the thing that you need to do to fix all of your issues. First, shut down your computer and then disconnect any accessories that you have on your computer. Then turn it back on and reconnect only your drive to see if the drive is working or not. If your computer is having any difficulty actually reading a hard drive or SSD, then you should first try connecting it to another PC to check if that PC can read it. If it can read it with no issues, then there could be a hardware issue with your own computer. You either need to check if the SSD slot is damaged or if you're using an external drive, then try to see if there is another port that will work as it could be the port that you are plugging it into that might have an issue. You may also want to check the cable that you're using as sometimes if the wrong cable is being used, like a slower rated cable, the drive won't work at all. Also, check the cable for any damage. You want to make sure that there is no damage to the pins on the connectors and make sure that the cable itself isn't frayed. Next up is to check the driver. If you have an old driver installed or an incorrect driver installed, then this can also lead to issues. Let's follow these steps to sort out any issues regarding the driver. First, use the keyboard shortcut Windows and X keys together and click on Device Manager when the menu pops up. Once the new window appears, you'll see a list of all the different kinds of drives that are installed on your PC. And from there, you just want to double click disk drives, which will show you all of the disks that are currently installed in your PC. After that, you need to find the name of the hard drive or SSD that your PC is unable to read. Right click the hard drive or SSD that you're having troubles with. And then in the pop up menu, you just want to click uninstall. Don't be scared before clicking uninstall because you're not going to be making any permanent changes to the hard drive or disk itself, or even the PC. The drivers will simply reinstall. Once the drivers have been uninstalled, the next step is to restart your PC. Once your PC has been restarted, you want to open up the device manager once again to check if the drive that you uninstalled has automatically been reinstalled. In the vast majority of cases, it should be reinstalled. If it has been reinstalled, then try to read the drive again. If there are any issues with your drive, you might want to try checking your disk using disk management. We can check for any errors and repair them with ease. So let's show you how to do it. In the Cortana search box, type disk management and then click on the first option from there. The next step is to identify your hard drive or SSD that you're having troubles with. Once you have found it, right click on it and then click properties. A pop-up will appear and on the toolbar, it will give you a bunch of different options. From there, you want to click on the tools tab. In the tools tab, you should see a category for error checking along with a check button. Click on the check button so that the system can find any errors with your disk. If it doesn't find any errors with the disk, you can still continue to run the scan anyway. If Windows finds any errors, it will ask you to restart your PC and your disk should be ready to work from. If you checked your disk using disk management and Windows still can't come up with any errors, then you can try using the check disk command prompt instead. This is one of the most popular ways of fixing an unreadable or corrupt drive and let's show you how to use the check disk utility. Open Windows search and type CMD. Once you see the CMD application pop up, don't left click it, but rather right click it and then click on run as administrator. Next, you want to type this into the command prompt. Make sure that the letter after check disk represents the letter of your drive that you're having issues with. Once you've entered this, you need to press enter on your keyboard. The check disk utility will then perform a full scan of that particular drive. Since you added the forward slash F command, the check disk utility will automatically fix any errors with your drive if it detects them. 
Anything from then on will be automatic. It will first examine the basic file system structure, then it'll examine the file name linkage, and then after that it'll examine the security descriptors. Once it has completed the scan, it should be safe to exit the CMD window. If there are any issues with your drive, they should hopefully be fixed by running the check disk utility. If none of the methods that I've spoken about worked, then the last option would be for you to try to format your drive to at least get your drive working again. Now, this will erase any data that you have stored on your drive, so please be aware of this before proceeding with this step. We have a whole video on different methods to format your drive on Windows, so I'll leave a link down in the description below so that you can try one of those methods to format your drive depending on the issue that you have. But that's a wrap on some of the best methods to repair a hard drive or SSD on Windows. I really hope that you found this video helpful, and if you did, then make sure to smash that like button and leave us a comment down below. Also hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you can stay updated with all our future videos. Anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.